So I finished up installing the double freewheel sprocket on the back of the bike here. So you can see everything's hooked up. Uh, the pedals are hooked up. And the second sprocket is going down to the motor. Uh, I have the uh, bike, uh, the, the, the pedals on the closest to the inside sprocket, and then I have the motor on the outside sprocket. So let me flip this around here. Now when you go to install this, you're going to need to tension the chain for the pedals first, because this one you can't really change the tensioning on unless you remove a couple of lengths of chain out of there. And then once you get that set up, you can install the motor bracket back on. Uh, as you can see down here, I installed a little small spacer in there to space this uh, sprocket off of the side here, because if those met, the wheel wouldn't turn. But the easiest way I've figured out how to tension the chain on the motor is you put this together and you leave the upper and lower brackets here loose and loosen this up and slide it forward until your chain gets tightened up and then tighten this down. After you tighten this down, uh, you know, tighten it down pretty good and then you can go over and tighten down your clamps and then you'll have a really nice tight chain assembly that should work out pretty good for you. But that's all I have for you right now. Until next time, build stuff and have fun.